एवरी वन माई सेल झील भट्ट एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल झील्स फार्मेसी टूटोरियल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट कोलिनर्जिक ट्रांसमिशन और पैरासिम्पथेटिक ट्रांसमिशन सो ना लेट एस सी दिस स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन द पैरासिम्पथेटिक ट्रांसमिशन इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कोलिनर्जिक ट्रांसमिशन बिकॉज कोलिन इज इन्वॉल्व इन इट सो दिस स्टेप्स आर एज फॉलोज फर्स्ट इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ एसिटाइल कोलिन सेकेंड इज स्टोरेज ऑफ एसिटाइल कोलिन थर्ड इज रिलीज ऑफ एसिटाइल कोलिन फोर्थ इज बाइंडिंग टू द रिसेप्टर्स फिफ्थ इज मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ एसिटाइल कोलिन एंड सिक्स इज री अपटेक ऑफ कोलिन सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ एसिटाइल कोलिन एसिटाइल कोलिन इज सिंथेसाइज इन साइड द नर्व फाइबर कोलिन रिएक्ट विद एसिटाइल कोए इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द एनजाइम कोलिन एसिटाइल एज एंड फॉर्म्स एसिटाइल कोलिन सो दिस इज द डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पैरासिम्पथेटिक ट्रांसमिशन कोलिन एंड एसिटाइल कोलिन रिएक्ट्स विद ईच अदर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द एनजाइम कोलिन एसिटाइल एज एंड एसिटाइल कोलिन इज फॉर्म अलॉन्ग विद द को एनजाइम ए सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ सिंथेसिस इन द नर्व फाइबर द सेकेंड स्टेप इज स्टोरेज ऑफ एसिटाइल कोलिन The synthesized acetyl choline is stored in presynaptic vesicles by active transport mechanism. They travel through microtubules to reach to the nerve endings. Now the second step is storage of acetyl choline. The synthesized acetyl choline is stored in presynaptic vesicles by active transport mechanism. They travel through microtubules to reach to the nerve endings. These are the synaptic vesicles. and they are concentrated in the nerve endings in the synaptic vesicles the acetyl choline is stored since they are present in the presynaptic nerve it is also known as presynaptic vesicles now the third step is release of acetyl choline this is the main part of the parasympathetic transmission when action potential arrives at the nerve ending the voltage sensitive calcium channel gets open the intracellular concentration of calcium increases the increased concentration of calcium causes fusion of synaptic vesicles with the cell membrane which causes release of acetylcholine into synaptic space so when the concentration of calcium increases there is fusion of synaptic vessels with the cell membrane this causes the release of acetylcholine into synaptic cleft now the fourth step is binding to the receptor Released acetyl choline diffuses across the synaptic space. Acetyl choline binds with either of the two parasympathetic receptor in the postsynaptic nerve. The two parasympathetic receptors are muscarinic receptor and nicotinic receptors. So this released acetyl choline binds with either muscarinic receptor or nicotinic receptor in the postsynaptic nerve. Now the fifth step is metabolism of acetyl choline. The acetyl choline present in the synaptic space when does not get bind to the receptor it gets metabolized. The enzyme choline esterase cleaves acetyl choline into choline and acetic acid. When acetyl choline is released into synaptic space there are three pathways. First is it binds to the muscarinic receptor second is it binds to the nicotinic receptor and the unutilized acetyl choline is cleaved into choline and acetic acid in the presence of the enzyme choline esterase last step of parasympathetic transmission is reuptake of choline choline may be recaptured by the uptake system into the neurons it could be again utilized to form acetyl choline This choline can again be reused in the formation of acetyl choline. So now, let us see in brief about parasympathetic transmission. Here, the first step is synthesis of acetyl choline. Here, choline reacts with acetyl CoA in the presence of the enzyme choline acetylase and forms acetyl choline. So here ends the first step. In the second step, there is storage of acetyl choline. Many synaptic vesicles are present in the presynaptic nerves and acetyl choline is stored into it. Now the third step is release of acetyl choline. When the intracellular calcium concentration increases, the synaptic vesicles fuse with the cell membrane which causes the release of acetyl choline into synaptic space. After the acetyl choline is released into the synaptic space, 
there are three pathways in which acetylcholine is utilized first is it either binds with the muscarinic receptor second is it binds with the nicotinic receptor and the third is it gets cleaved into choline and acetic acid this is done in the presence of the enzyme choline esterase now this choline is again recaptured by the uptake system and it can be again used in the formation of acetylcholine thank you